My heat press is here. Ooh. <gasps> what? Thank you to Heat Press Nation. Okay, y'all. I just unboxed my heat press and my sawgrass sublimation printer. But my heat press is legit like 140 pounds of like steel. I cannot lift that shit. Okay, so I managed to get it out of the box. I still don't know how the hell I got it out of the box. A lot of maneuvering and I can't lift it from the floor to my table. Success. <laughs> Check this out. Nice and sleek. This bad boy was heavy though. I ain't even gonna lie. I literally had to use everything I had in my leg power to get this boy on here. Okay, so my sublimation printer is warming up. It said give it about seven minutes for the ink to thoroughly get get through the machine and absorbed. But I have my first sublimation project are gonna be earrings. Wooden earrings, and these are just gonna be the blanks. I coated this with a polycrylic and I applied three coats. You have to let it dry and cure for about two hours in between each coat. And it's supposed to get up to 400 degrees before I can press anything. And it's at 300 right now. Pretty good. I was nervous when we, when I first ordered, started, started it up because when you plug it in, it's a 20 amp and most houses are only 15 amp. Gosh. This polyacrylic like stuck to the back. And <laughs> dried, all crusty, my thits. Anyway, everything's getting situated. The heat press is warming up. I got my computer open so I can just send it over to the printer, the, the graphic that I want. And then printer's warming up. So once it's done warming up, I'll send the image over, get a print, get it to this, press it, and if that's a success, I'll do three pairs and then I'll move on to a mask. I need to take a moment to collect myself. It has been a long day of trying to troubleshoot this. Um, the heat press, not so much. I haven't gotten to that yet, but my printer, my Sawgrass printer, the software isn't completely downloading on my computer. Therefore, I'm not able to get past an error message to be able to install the complete program and I can't print nothing. So that puts me on hold as far as trial and error and my first project. I was so upset I had to send in an email to the company to ask them for some help. So I have to wait for them to respond and then hopefully they can get me through the error message and then onto my first project. Bear with me, we're almost there. Okay, so I tried it. So close, but that paper sticking. I actually watched some tutorials where they were doing that, and I don't, I don't know why it's doing that. I think maybe because my pressure is too hard or too heavy, or I'm leaving it on there for too long. <laughs> I gotta figure this out. Okay, so this is what I've got. That's like the clearest one I got. So I've literally had no luck with the uh, wooden earrings. They've all just stuck right to the surface and I gotta figure out what's going on with those. But I moved on to a baby onesie, 100% polyester, 374 degrees and 50 seconds for time. And that's it right there. I've pressed <laughs> about 20 different times and I, fingers crossed. <laughs> let me show you, let me show you. This is my trial and error, guys. So I just wanted to show you guys what some of my um, practice rounds were. This was, first of all, the best one I did until I got to know more about my heat press machine and the more pressure I got the better the picture turned out. So then I got this one and that was really good. My black isn't really turning out well. 
as you can see on my mask, it looks a little bit green. Anyways, that writing behind it was my first press and I hated to wait, or I hated to waste my substrates and um, keep trying to press on new ones. I tried to keep it all on the same ones when I messed up. So same with this, see that little bit of ghosting in the back? That's from a very light press. I was still trying to get to know the machine. And so with this one, this came out nice, but still it's like, it's still a little bit faded to my liking. It's not as crisp as I'd like it to be. And that was because I didn't have enough pressure either. Also, these look really green and I don't really care for that. I'm trying to figure out how I can get the black to be a true black and not a faded green. So anyway, there's my face mask. Same with this black. See, I kind of messed up here. I obviously didn't cover the whole thing, but these uh, these blacks are turning green and I don't know how to fix that, so I'll have to figure that out too. Breakthrough, breakthrough. Look at this, I'm hot. My heat press is 400 degrees right now. Huge learning curve, guys. They came out beautiful. Look at that. But what I didn't, what I forgot to do was put a sheet underneath the shirt because now I've got ghosting on the back from a different image that I tried to do before this project. And I did it on two ones. But God! <sighs> One breakthrough and another freaking road bump. But y'all, these came out nice. I'm not even gonna lie. So my first batch of shirts, I spent up to $150 and I got like bare minimum of shirts. I started this at eight this morning and it's like 8.30 p.m. Well, 9.30. <sighs> Welcome to my journey. Huge learning curve. I only ordered five onesies and I already used four onesies. So I've got one left to perfect this. Y'all, I'm getting good. Yes. Onesie. My one onesie for sale. <laughs> it's a start. I'm happy with it. Y'all, thank you so much for joining me tonight, this evening, all day. I want to show you the very last sublimation I did. It was probably my best one of the day. Boom, y'all, that's crisp, that's colorful, exactly what I imagined. So it wasn't a complete failure. I had to just push through it, push through the barriers. Um, I'm sure that's not gonna be the last of them, but I'm super excited for this journey because sublimation is um, gonna be a lot more reliable and durable. It's gonna last you a long time. You don't see sublimation around here. The pressure gauge, I played with the, the heat how hot it has to be and I also had to make sure the printer was coming out right off of the colors. It's time for investment. It's time to work from home. With the days we have right now with the pandemic, we never know what's going to happen. So relying on myself, returning back into my family and all these creations you see, I designed it, I pressed it, I'm shipping them out. The only thing I didn't do is cut and sew these t-shirts together, but everything else, you girl did it. Holla. So if you're looking for t-shirts, let me know. I can custom design for you. I can print maybe at most 20, I would say 50, if I'm really good, if I'm getting good. Um, I'm not taking huge orders right now because the girl needs to learn how to do this before I trust myself to do a big order. Thanks for following along, y'all. We'll see you next time.